Gyanakosha, an encyclopedia of Vedic knowledge by Pat. Vedas Rig Veda Hymns on Agni, Mandala 6. Om Ganana Antwa Ganapatikum Havamehe Kavin Kavina Mupotra Vattamam Jettara Jam Brahmanan Brahmanat Patanat Runmanu Tivit Sadhanam in Mandala 6, Sukta 6, Rishi Bharadwaja in Tristup meter visualized Agni. He who seeks further friends and grace to help him goes to the son of strength with newest worship, calling the heavenly priest to share the banquet who rents the wood bright with his blackened pathway. White-hued and thundering, he dwells in splendor, most youthful, with the loud voice and eternal. Agni, most very form, the purifier, who follows crunching many ample forests. Incited by the wind, by thy flames, O Agni, move onward, pure one, pure in all directions. Thy most destructive heavenly Nagavas, break the woods down and devour them boldly. The pure white horses from their bonds are loosened. O radiant one, they shear the ground beneath them. And far and wide shines out thy flame and flickers rapidly moving over earth's high ridges. Forth dots the bull's tongue like the sharp tongue weapon, discharged by him who fights to win the cattle. Agni's fierce flame is like a hero's onset. Dread and resistless, he destroys the forest. Thou with the sunlight of the great impeller hast boldly overspread the earth's expanses. So drive away with conquering might all perils, fighting out foemen, burn up those who harm us. Wondrous of wondrous power, Give to the singer wealth wondrous, marked most wonderful life giving. Wealth bright, O bright one, vast with many heroes, give with thy bright flame to the man who lords thee. Shukta 7 Bharadwaja in Tristup meter hailed Agni, him, messenger of earth and head of heaven. Agni, Vaivasnara, born in holy order, the sage, the king, the guest of men, a vessel fit for their mouths the gods have generated. Him have they praised, midpoint of sacrifices, great cistern of liberation, seat of riches. Vaivasnara, conveyor of oblations and sign of worship, have the gods endangered. From thee, O Agni, springs the mighty singer. From thee come heroes who subdue the foeman. O King, why Swarara, bestow thou on us excellent treasures worthy to be longed for. To thee, immortal, when to light thou springest, all the gods sing for joy as to their infant. They by thy mental powers were made immortal, wise Swara, when thou shonest from thy parents. Agni, Vaivaswara, no one hath ever resisted. 
these thy mighty ordinances. When thou arising from thy parents' bosom, foundest the light for day's appointed curses. The summits of the heaven are traversed through and through by the immortal's light, Vaivasvara's brilliancy. All creatures in existence rest upon his head. The seven shift flowing streams have grown like branches forth. Seven Vaivasvara's who measured out the realms of air, sage very wise who made the lucid spears of heaven. The undeceivable who spread out all the world's keeper is he and god of immorality. Sukta 8 Bharadwaja in meter Jagati and Trishtu hailed Agni at Jatavedas holy gathering. I will tell aloud the conquering might of the swift red-hued steed. A pure and fresher him flows to Vaivasvara even as for Agni, lovely Soma is made pure. That Agni, when in loftiest heaven, he sprang to life, guardian of holy laws, kept and observed them well. Exceeding wise, he measured out the firmament, Vaivasvara attained to heaven by mightiness. Wonderful Mitra propped the heaven and earth apart and covered and concealed the darkness with his light. He made the two bowels part asunder like two skins. Vaivasvara put forth all his creative power. The mighty seized him in the bosom of floods. The people waited on the king who should be praised. As envoy of Vaivasvara, Matra Sivan brought Agni Vaivasvara hither from far away. In every age bestow upon the singers wealth worthy of holy synods, glorious ever new. King, undecaying as it were with sharpened bolt, smite down the sinner like a tree with lightning flash. Do thou bestow, O Agni, on our wealthy chiefs rule with good heroes, undecaying, bending not. So may we win for our strength, O Vai Swara, hundredfold, thousandfold, O Agni, by thy help. O thou who dwellest in three places, helper, keep with effective guards our princely patterns. Keep our band, Agni, who have brought thee presence, lengthen their lives by Vaswara when lauded. In Sukta 9, Rishi Bharadwaja in meter Trishtu visualized Agni. One half of day is dark and bright the other. Both atmosphere move on by sage devices. Agni, Vaivasvara Nara, when born as sovereign, hath with his luster overcome the darkness. I know not either warp or woof. I know not the web they weave when moving to the contest. Whose son shall here speak words that must be spoken without assistance from the father near him? For both the warp and oof he understandeth, and in due time shall speak what should be spoken. Who knoweth as the immortal world's protector, descending, seeing with no aid from other? He is the priest, the first of all. Behold him, mid-mortal man, he is the light immortal. Here was he born, firm seated in his station immortal, ever waxing in his body. A firm light hath seen set for men to look on among all things that fly the mind is swifted. All gods of one accord with one intention more unobstructed to a single purpose. Mine ears are close to hear, mine eye to see him, the light that harbors in my spirit broadens. Far roams my mind, whose thoughts are in the distance. What shall I speak? What shall I now imagine? All the gods bowed them down in fear before thee, Agni, 
when thou wast dwelling in the darkness vaiswara be gracious to assist us may the immortal favor us and help us in sukta 10 bharadwaj rishi with meter trishtu hailed agnias install at sacrifice while the right advances your pleasant heavenly agni meet for praises with hymns for he illumines us install him he jatavedas makes our right successful here this lord radiant priest of many aspects o agni with the fires of man and kindled lord which wards send forth pure as sacred butter strength to this man as it were for self advantage mid mortal men that singer thrives in glory who offers gifts with hymns of praise to agni and the god wondrous bright with wondrous succors helps him to win a stable filled with cattle he at his birth whose path is black behind him filled heaven and earth with far apparent splendor and he himself had been through night's thick darkness made manifest by light the purifier with thy most mighty aid confer o agni wonderful wealth on us and on our princes who stand preeminent surpassing others in liberal gifts in fame and hero virtues agni accept this sacrifice with gladness which seated here the worshipper presented fair hymns hadest thou among the bharadwajas and hopest them to gain abundant vigor scatter our foes increase our store may we have glad a hundred winters with brave sons